Geneva is a former U.S. attorney in D.C., and he joins us tonight. Joe, thanks a lot for coming on. My pleasure. So, uh, on a special report uh, a little over an hour ago, Ron Johnson, the head of center, uh, who's head of the Homeland Security Committee, um, suggested that the secret society referenced in these texts may have been an actual thing, and it may have met off-site away from the FBI secretly. We don't know more than that. What does this suggest to you? It suggests, as we have said from the beginning, that there was a brazen plot to illegally exonerate Hillary Clinton, and if she didn't win the election, to then frame Donald Trump with a falsely created crime. Everything that we have seen from these texts and from all the facts developing shows that the FBI and senior DOJ officials conspired to violate the law and to deny Donald Trump his civil rights. What would be the motive for that? The motive would be that they didn't like Donald Trump, they didn't think he was fit to be president, and they were going to do everything within their power to exonerate Hillary Clinton, and if she lost, to frame Donald Trump with a false crime because they didn't think he should be president. What do, you, what do you make of the claim that five months of text messages between Strzok and Lisa Page have somehow disappeared as Lois Lerner's emails did, as Hillary Clinton's yes. emails did? Well, as, a, as an old United States attorney who has watched obstruction of justices over the years, that explanation from the Bureau is ludicrous. Uh, those texts were either purposely destroyed, uh, uh, period, they were purposely destroyed. M moreover, they exist somewhere. I can assure you the NSA has them. Um, other companies have them, Verizon has them, AT&T, and if the Bureau can't figure out how to get them, they're in worse shape than I thought they were. So you don't buy it at all? No, no, absolutely not. Th those texts exist, and if they don't exist, they were destroyed. So you suggest this is obstruction of justice. How do we proceed if the country's chief law enforcement agency is itself guilty of that? Well, the attorney general needs to appoint a special counsel, and if he doesn't want to do that, he needs to make sure that the criminal division of the Justice Department impanels a grand jury immediately yeah. and start, starts putting in that grand jury under oath Comey, Strzok, Page, Baker, McCabe, everybody, is, and senior Justice Department officials, Sally Yates, Bruce Orr, and others, John Carlin, the head of the National Security Division, all of these people need to be in front of a federal grand jury. We have long since passed the time when we need to have just congressional investigations for this. Make no mistake about it, a group of FBI and DOJ people were trying to frame Donald Trump of a falsely created crime. Is there any possibility the Justice Department has already impaled that investigation? Oh, I certainly hope so, because we're long past the time when that should have been done. I, I hope they have. If they haven't, I can't imagine that they're not about to do so shortly. Why is it so hard for the FBI to respond to legitimate and lawful requests for information from the Congress, which, which provides oversight? It shouldn't be. I don't understand it. Uh, I, I, I must say Christopher Wray's performance has been extremely unimpressive with regard to how to lead an agency at a time of crisis, how to respond publicly, how to respond to Congress, how to carry out your duties. It has been an abysmal performance by Director Wray. Strzok and Page apparently still working at the FBI headquarters here in Washington. Does that strike you as odd? Strikes me as very odd. I cannot conceive of circumstances under which agents in these conditions, with the kind of text messages that they exchange, knowing what we know now about the criminal activity involving the compromising of national security agency intercepts of 702 data involving, involving private American citizens. I can't imagine how they can still be on the premises. Would they be cleared to see classified information? I certainly cannot imagine how they would still be cleared to see classified But they have access to former colleagues, of course, or their, their present colleagues in the building. Yes, members of the secret society no doubt continue to still talk to one another. What can be, I mean, are there civil service rules? I mean, how could that be at this point? I'm afraid only Christopher Ray knows knows why they are being allowed to stay in that building. And, l and last question, since you have been here for a long time and worked in this world for a long time, are we right to have real questions about the integrity of our justice system watching this? Regrettably, we are at a point now where the FBI has lost almost all of its credibility and regrettably its integrity as a result of the, result of the conduct of James Comey, who remains America's most dirty cop. Terrifying. Judge Gentlemen, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Richard Goodstein advised.